One of our most viewed clips a year ago was when we went to the Lady of the Lakes Renaissance Fair and we put people on the spot to check their medieval medical knowledge. The event, a major fundraiser for the Education Foundation of Lake and Sumter, brings together some of the most authentic and memorable experiences as you travel back in time. Never ones to pass up an opportunity to build upon a successful segment, we went back there again this year for round two. First of all, tell me a little about who you are. So we are the Black Velvet Band. We are an Irish drinking show. We are the uh, merriest Irishman you're going to find uh, this side of the Mississippi. Here's your first question. Yes, I'm ready. All right, so remember, this is medieval medical trivia. All right. Okay. A mixture of saffron, milk, and salt was thought to be a cure for what skin disease? The answer is obviously leprosy. Of course. Incorrect. It, well, I mean, if, you're, if, if we're going to bring facts into this, I'm never going to win. Could it be for, for pox? No, but save that answer for another question. Oh, good. That was a hint. A concoction of saffron, milk, and salt was thought to be a cure for what skin condition? I'm thinking syphilis. <laughs> Do you know what color saffron is? Is it, is it a golden tone? It is. So a saffron, hold this for a moment. Saffron, as I'm certain you're aware, is part of the pistils of the saffron flowers, the part that you pull out. Uh, they're orangish, but they kind of got to a red, if you find them, they have a bit of a red hue on the inside and it's got orange bits on the outside. It costs about 12, 12 pounds an ounce. So what skin condition when you think of something that's yellow? Oh, hold it, I think I have this one. Jaundice. Excellent, very good. taking a pot of toads, boiling them down to ash, consuming the ash, was a cure for what disease, wink wink, remember? Oh yes, we talked about it, but I've had a little too much mead. Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you, it. You, you sold your answer? Yeah. I, yeah. That was mine. Really? I, I am a doctor. The, the plague. <laughs> toads and you're burning down to ash, and then you're eating them. Wow, that sounds like something those hippies do. <laughs> Let's see, no, hold it. Um, you really have me, I have no syphilis. <laughs> Smallpox. Smallpox! I know, you would have gotten right it. There. Oh, well, Close. oh, well. That was a second. Was it? They'll both get you. We are um, in the presence of greatness, Lord Edward, I, I bow before you. Oh, it's so good to have people recognize me for how wonderful I am. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. Chewing on licorice root was thought to help cure what oral condition? Gingivitis. Oh, really good guess. Wrong, but a really good guess. Oh, well, I know that's very lovely for my vocal cords. It's very wonderful for that. Please don't say syphilis. <laughs> Oh, you catch on, you're quick. <laughs> I have many answers for that, but I don't know if this is going to be for the children. It's a family program. <laughs> you're in the adult area. Halitosis. You know what, that's a really good guess. Wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's that's wrong. A big word, though. It's I mean, wrong. I should get points for the word. You do, you get partial <laughs> points for using a big word, Lord. It really is. It's Give not... me another guess, though. I would say bad breath. Got I... another guess? Um, I'm gonna say toothaches. That's a pretty common guess. Pretty common guess. Canker sores. Oh no, I would never have guessed that. 100% the Black Velvet Man. Yeah. <laughs> we accept your commendation and uh, your surrender. I think you guys are gonna do well on this next one. All right, I feel really good about it. Think about the word. What is uroscopy? Spell it, country of origin. Use it in a sentence. What is uroscopy? Oh, well, te all right, technically that is a sentence, but I don't like that. Touche. I have no idea. Break the word down. You? <laughs> Oroscopy? <laughs> Uroscopy? <laughs> Depends on what time of the day. <laughs> uh. That doesn't make any sense. Euro? Euro? Oh, it's about those Europeans. <laughs> I hate them too. I don't, oh. Is it for your yarn? Yes, very the good. Urine test. It is the examination of urine, color, smell, and texture to determine your overall health and wellness. 
That happens when I'm passed out and I wake up and then there's a, usually a pot. Anyways, we're getting a little personal here. We are. All right, here's your last one. Okay. King Charles II used to love swigging something called King's Drops. It only had two ingredients. What were those two ingredients in King's Drops? Hmm. King's Drops. I'm thinking alcohol. That's one. <laughs> uh, honey. Could it perhaps it be, uh, oh, was it mead? It is distilled alcohol and? Maybe a bit of whiskey, maybe the rum. Close, distilled alcohol and? Water. We've decided the two ingredients are children and sailors. Distilled alcohol. Not the children. And ground human skull. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, I thought that was just breakfast. <laughs> Gentlemen, the pleasure was mine. Mm, yeah. Oh, it Cheers. Was. It was. Cheers. It was absolutely yours. Slancha. Cheers. We're Cheers. Hometown Health TV. We're the black of the band. And remember, when it comes to the health, you want hometown health. A big thanks to all the participants for being such great sports. You can find this story when you follow the on-the-spot story link icon on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.